Good morning all, Nicholas, Adam. Excuse me, social distancing rules, please. Um, right, we're back at a rewire that. The video I did when we had to just suck in the wall. That was this house. And we managed to do two days before I then got ill and uh, had to then self-isolate for two weeks-ish. But what happened was, this young man and Amy, which you all know Amy's about, uh, came, Amy came with Adam and they were here for a day and they did some stuff without me. We were on FaceTime constantly throughout the day to make sure everything was going well. Any questions, any queries, Adam, I need an answer in an Amy. Uh, none of it was working live because what we've had to do with this property is because it's been occupied and the customers have been Disgusting. Customers have been living here. They went on holidays for a bit, but when they went on holidays, when I got ill, so I couldn't be here. Um, we've been moving stuff. So this is still the old one. So all the original wiring is still in the house, and we've run all new wiring everywhere. So that's all still on. The new sockets are ready, but the old one, like that one there, is still connected. So we've not actually done the exchange yet. So Adam and Amy were working, pulling cables in, capping, sinking boxes, there everything for me, and they did a fantastic job. I'm super chuffed with Adam and Amy and proud of them. So that's why I bought Adam an Xbox One the other day. No, it wasn't Xbox One. Xbox Series X. Xbox Series X. You put on, I put a picture on Instagram, he was well chuffed. Um, but, so we're here today. I'm back to normal, we've got two days left on it. I can't really show you, Adam's just putting smoke alarm feed up here. Boards in here. I'm just put a new position. So there's the old board. These are all the new cables being dropped down. Uh, he's put labelled them all up for the gas. The cooker, the heat alarm, the boiler, doorbell. There's a ring doorbell going on outside. So what Adam's done is ran a uh, well, doorbell cable. What do you want to call it? 12, 12 volt. 12 volt cable, telephone cable to the front door. We've bought one of the fuse box adapters for the transformers. That's going to go in the board, which I've never fit before. So that's going to be a bit of an interesting one. So it's just going to be running a few more cables in now, getting some down lights, well, doing the connection for the down lights. I'm going across here. Oh yeah, that one's got so many because... You've done the feed in, feed out, and then the feed for the, the kitchen, haven't you? Yeah, and the feed, obviously, into that room, um, but obviously the bed now comes in the way. Yeah, so, so what I'm doing, instead of... He's done a centralised point which is going to be above this downlight, which will be written on the certificate of it's going to be a joint box above there um, and probably an, an ideal one or maybe two depending on how many cables are in there yeah. that can be still pulled down and access so we've got almost that's the spider that's like the joint box in between and then spiders out to bring feeds to all the other light fittings so that's the purpose that's why there's so many cables here what happened with these? I don't know, Do you know what happened there? it was Amy wasn't it? No. it's all getting skimmed anyway um, all our protection's still down. Carpet's not gone back down yet, so I haven't had all this. So this is what I mean, the lighting still in the existing. The two ways are all up in here ready to exchange today. We've got some fast fix boxes. I've got some bonding, so we're gonna put some bonding in some of the chases to make it a bit better. But yeah, and sort of do run the last few cables in here. You've got some treats as well there, mate. Little treat treats. There's a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> And um, yeah, so we get a few more cables in and we'll film it through and then we'll do the exchange. Whether or not the board's gonna get changed over today or tomorrow, but we'll keep it updated. So uh, yeah, enjoy. So what, obviously this looks a bit of a mess. You can see our new cables going in here and a coil. Because of the old wiring all still in place, we can't cut anything out, hence what you can see. This coil here, so go with it. So downstairs, this bathroom, there's a wall, this is all getting changed. So you've got a bathroom here and then a separate toilet. That's all getting merged into one. So all these walls are coming down. Might well, just be a door here. Yeah, as well as out the back, there's a massive extension going on. So the lean-to kitchen, which is there at the moment, is being ripped down. So we're running, there's gonna be a ring for the kitchen. There's gonna be a six month for the cooker. There's gonna be a smoke alarm cable coming from the heat alarm. Uh, sorry, there's gonna be a heat alarm cable coming from the smoke alarm that's in the floor here. There's a boiler, new boiler feed. Yeah, that's just going to the bathroom. And then we're taking a light feed. So Adam's on a coil. So all the drums you've seen in the, uh, the, the downstairs cupboard, we're going to pull all the way across, leave a big coil in the floor ready for when the extension happens. The ceiling's then being dropped downstairs for the extension, so they'll all be accessible. So we're just trying to get enough stuff in, in place now so when we do the exchange, we know exactly where they are, we know how long they are, we've yeah. got the ring in, everything should make life a bit easier. Because we weren't going to be doing the extension to start with. The customer asked us to do this. 
the builders then going to get their spark in. And we said, fine, we'll, we'll leave these all labelled up. What's what, where they are, so it'll help the next spark out. But then the builders was like, well, we might as well do it. So um, hence why we're going to try and get everything as best possible in place to, to move on. So there's not much to show now. We're just going to take some boards up, pull a few more cables, get the right length out. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, crack on. So this is the coils. You've got well, everything I said earlier. These are the ones that are getting ripped out. So we've said we're not on until they exchange every day, which is probably tomorrow. We ain't going to run these because we want to reuse all the original holes that someone's drilled. So these are all the old cables that run across to what is the kitchen currently. Um, old conduit in the wall, which you can just see there. Where someone's rewired it, re well, in the past. Um, this would have been done in old uh, cloth coloured cable. There was some under the floor a second ago. But I have not drilled any of these beams. You can see how dirty the floors are. This is the stuff I've just pulled out from one literary slot to drill a hole. So all of these will be pulled out. They'll look a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. But it's one of these ones where it doesn't really look good until the last day, does it? Yeah, last minute. So uh, I'm going to pull some cables in now. Boards just below. Pull them up. Run them across. That's what we're doing now. Adam's made a piece of oval conduit. And he's made a slit in it here to bring out. That's the... Three core on earth, which is the two-way lighting for the landing, which is going to be here. He's fed it up halfway. He's now going to feed his upstairs lighting feed up and his smoke alarm link for, we're just going to put it where the old pendant was there, a little brown stain. We don't like a little brown stain, do we, Ad? Sam, Fat Sam from the podcast, he loves, loves them. Constant poo stories. you have to go and listen if you want to know what I'm on about. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. I've gone around PVA glued, sprayed all the chases out, so I'm going to bond a few in a little bit. Um, we're going to leave them, like you say, till tomorrow. I think the next thing we're going to tackle is the little link here, which you can see just there is the boiler feed. So we, hang on, mate, don't look there. Yeah. Uh, it's going to run over there because the boiler's moving walls. So I'm going to try and get footage as and where I can, but the floors are just a bit everywhere. Why have you got a hood up? Because I'm going to go You're gangster? Go in the loft. Oh, OK. Well, it's my job, I've just brought, so this is the first socket on the downstairs circuit. Uh, we had the feed here, which went out over to the dining room. That was all linked across, through into the lounge. Um, but we never brought the link to the board. So that leads up to the board that Adam and Amy did. So they put some trunking in. So these are the cables here, are ones that are still live for the time being. I've just pulled them out of the way. These are our new ones. These are our new ones. And then we've got one feed coming from the bottom. Uh, it's going to actually be poked behind the, the because it's a raised floor, be poked behind this joist that just links through to here. So I'm just going to put this socket on, put a bit of conduit on, show how we do it. I've seen it on other videos before, but I haven't done many videos of me actually doing it. It's sort of a before and after. Let me set this up. Right, over conduit, as you can see. We're going to poke as much of that into the floor as possible. Oh, that sounds a bit of a lamp. I was going to cut it with my Knipex, but never mind. So, all round band, you guys have seen before, we use the black one, uh, there is a galvanised one as well, but it's just the one we pick up. So we'll stick a 5.5 five bit, uh, we'll probably just do two on here, so we'll do one here. And we're going to use the velocity stacker that we saw in previous videos. Two red plugs, five five plugs. In and in. And we've got our one five screws. And I thought I brought the impact from downstairs, but I did not. Yeah, so I'm only two screws. The combi in. What we do is a five holes. So on these, um, God, you noisy man. Okay. So, um, so we use uh, five holes, I'm trying to look into the camera, five holes on here, and these actually come perforated, so there is a mark every five holes, which is just our look really. Fit it correctly. I like to pre-bend them into a bit of a U, which is what we're going to use. Gross, I'm gonna do this the old fashioned way. So I have done gone I've gone and sprayed some PVA um, glue in this already. 
I try and do it in before we get the oval conduit in. It just helps if any bonding goes behind the oval conduit when we're plastering it. Well, it's not really plastering, is it? Securing it to the wall. Um, it just gives it a bit more of a something to bite onto. Not brick dust. Right, so we're in there, we're in there. I do wish there's any oval conduit manufacturers watching. 2.5 is very snug in here. It is snug. I think if you made this a mil bigger, I'd be a bit happier. Oh, that's gone all right. It's, uh, to be fair, we use different brands of cable sometimes, and some, some are a bit thicker than others. the same hole underneath. Bend this round. Pull that down, slide the conduit back up. We will bend over the tabs. I'm just going to take my fingernail off to try and do that. In and in. We just give it a bit of a tap it out. And that's in. Nice and secure. I've put a bit more PVA spray. You can see where I've sprayed the box. A bit of a white creamy mixture in the bottle, spray that on top, and get some bonding on that. The skirt was taken off, it's actually, the old skirt's all nailed in place, but we've saved it. Not that bit, that's in here. Oh, it's, there, it's under there. So the customer said they will go and put it all back on afterwards. Uh, we've had to knit, do some notches out of some of them where we just can't get the cables down. But every sods and all, there's a beam always running right close to the wall. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get that on. And then next job I've got to do is some bonding, so. No, none of you guys want me to see, see me do that, do you? Let's be honest. Oh, as soon as that starts going, it starts tapping. Go on. Uh, we've had a tidy up. This is in. All bonded, everything. Just in little bits, because Adam and Amy managed to use the existing metal conduit in the wall for these bits. Because you're amazing. Because well, you're amazing, bro. We're amazing. That's so why I was now finding the, the luxurious lath and plaster walls. So that was a little cut out that we did. There's an existing socket that's still live. That's our new one. Be around, bonded up here. There's another stud wall there. This is not existing outside light, that's still usable. Fantastic. And then it gets even worse as you go outside. I'll show you outside in a little bit. But someone paid some good money back in the day for that. Have you been here before, Adam? Was this one of one of Jordan and Corey's jobs? Yeah, I think it's one of their jobs. <laughs> um, what did I say? Oh yeah, I did say I'll promise you guys. So these are the uh, Helberg uh, active hearing ear defenders that we bought from Elex. So these were ninety quid each, Ad. And Adam's got a pair. I got a pair. What a waste of money, in my opinion. Adam, you seem to like them, don't you? Let me know you like. I might just give them to Amy. Oh god, I shouldn't watch this. So I shall. Should be like, hey, it's my dress now. Um, I was expecting this to cancel out all no loud noise that you could hear, but then when we wanted to talk to each other, loud noise, loud loud vocals or whatever, you'd be able to speak to each other. I know it's because I'm partly deaf anyway. They don't seem to do that. They seem to amplify the loud noises. They just amplify all the noise. I can't get on with them. So if you guys have got a pair of these and. Or thinking about it, I wouldn't bother. Sorry, Snickers, but um, another cool thing. Just before I went off ill, these squeaky floorboards got delivery. Look at this Bosch GAS55MAFC. So this is going to be called. It's a good sucker. So um, let's call this. I need to be careful now. Who should we call it, Adam? So Adam's just thrown a few names at me, but I feel I can't say them on my channel. 
Freddy. Call it Freddy. Freddy. You want to call it Freddy? Who's Freddy? Oh, Adam Sherry. I know who Freddy is. So this is now Freddy. We'll write that on the side at some point. Adam's used it way more than me. I think I just plugged it in, turned it on. That was it. So we're gonna. This obviously will attach to the wall chase as well. We still do own the Matabe, which is there. Tarbe. The old Tarbe. Um, so I'm gonna give it a, give it a try. But it's a lot bigger. It's got bigger wheels. It's got a handle. It's got more attachments and a five meter hose as well. It's gone dark. So uh, yeah, we're gonna give that a go. Our plan is now. I've got one socket left to do. Everything in here, all the carpet, because the whole house has been renovated, hence the delicious wallpaper. Carpet's coming up, so we're gonna have a good tidy, take a lot of things down, finish off upstairs. I think we've just got to do a landing light left and the switch on the hallway, two-way switching, and then we can tidy up and then we can start downstairs. But it's we've just had some lunch. We nipped to Aldi. Uh, it's about what is it about half one ish? Yeah. Something like one half one. I think it's about half twelve. Is it? Oh, well, twenty past one, yeah. Twenty past one. Let's see, I can tell because where the sun is in the sky, Adam. Oh yeah, where's that? High up. Yeah, it's it's in the sky. Yeah. Roughly, it's it's about uh, twenty past one. So uh, yeah, we'll jump down and we'll run you through a little bit more in a little bit, and I'll show you the outside light. Right, I'm going to show you outside this delicious treat now. We've had a bit of a tidy up, so we put boards back down, carpet will go back down tomorrow. It's one of them jobs where unfortunately we have to set the whole floor up, get out of the way. So it is all getting replaced, but it's maybe not for a couple of weeks. And the carpet's been protected. So yeah, I'll zoom in a little bit for you. So that comes down to there and then mount a, uh, an upside down floodlight which then comes down a bit more LSF to an earth. This is our new outside light feed. Then that runs into there and comes down to a switch. Delicious. Adam, how much did they pay you to do that? Was it Jordan's sort of price, was it? No. Um more like Dave Savo price. Savo price? Yeah. Well, a couple of beers? Yeah, a couple of beers. What's that on your tap, Adam? Ryan Trade Insurance. Ryan Trade Insurance, Bundy 10 for all your Trade Insurance needs. Yeah, amongst them. Such, such, such as what? Have we learned yet? What, what insurances do they do, Ad? Um, tall Insurance. Tall Insurance. That's the main one. Yeah. Actually. Get your tools covered in your van overnight or in the day. Yeah. Um, public liability. Yeah, public liability. Yeah. Personal um, indemnity. Personal indemnity. Yeah, Prentice well, insurance. Prentice insurance, yes. Yeah. So Adam's got all, well, I've got all the insurances to have Adam on board. So uh, yeah, check them out. Body 10, get a discount. Nice. Yep. That's just done for us today. That's tomorrow. And then this. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be fun. So I'm sure we'll get some footage tomorrow. Um, I try and split the videos up because I don't know what one to be too long. Adam, what is the meaning of life? Work hard and there's money and enjoy it. Yeah. Fair. I'd say be kind to others, but never mind. Uh, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.